this tank, unbeknownst to us, has been leaking. And there was a um, pile of storage stuff right there. And it sank into the floor. It's wet. It's moldy. It's disgusting. But I fix things. There's some politics and uh, economics that go with I can either just live with it for the time being or I can fix it. I, I've been given approval to repair it. The, the supplies will be paid for. They know that I know how to do this work really well. So they're going to let me. Uh, let's see, first of all, what we really have to deal with. I know it's going to be really gross. So, uh, prepare yourselves. There have been awful things coming up out of the floor. Uh, snails. Boogity boogity things. Yucky. There was a big cricket in here. It's another wildlife in Kim's house. With Kim. Uh, I don't know what this is. It's so big. It doesn't like my slippery floor. But this is a full-size regular can. And I'm trying to catch him. Yeah, you? Okay, you can see. It's coming out. Oh god, this is real bad. Oh man. That's a can pear can. I don't want to kill him. I just want him to not be in my house. The owner here did not think it was this bad. I was like, no, something's really something really bad is happening. Let's see what this section looks like. Okay, so it looks bad. It looks real bad. Now when you get to here, I don't know if you could see the amount of sag that's happening here. This is the amount of drop that's in the floor. Watch when I go to push on it. It's just, it's disgusting. That's so bad. And, you know, clearly uh, that's mold. Been breathing that. And that icky mildew. There's a snail living there. And it's, it's not a little one. It's been living there for a while, you know? I'm wearing gloves. You know it's bad when I wear gloves if you've watched this channel. Standard crowbar. That's not so good. I felt a pipe there. So I need to be careful. Yeah. Falling through the floor is a bad thing. plywood on top of particle. No, no. All oh, wrong. What are you doing? Uh, I mean, you shouldn't be able to do this. <laughs> I think it goes without saying. That's bad. So there's just a crawl space down there. And it's a pretty typical crawl space. Anyways, um, you could see there's mold and things that should not be growing there. And then the floor has multiple layers. It's plywood over particle. And then you can see that the, the beams have really bad mold on them. And I think that they're going to... I think those beams just go from this wall to that wall over there. So they're not long. We can just... Maybe treat them. They may need replaced. It's real bad. I need help. This is more than I want to do alone. You can see that the... The Last of Us, you know? the mo It's slowly growing. Luckily, it hasn't really gone past the wall. Hopefully, it hasn't uh, migrated any further than the door. As bad as I thought, and worse. 
you know, that's not so for. Somebody could have fallen through this leveler board or whatever, I don't know. But then look, that's, that's not wood. That's not support. That's just stuck up under there. It's holding the mo it's a sponge holding the moisture to the bottom of the luon. So, ooh, yuck. Look how black it is. Mold abatement is going to need to occur here. Gosh, we're lucky the freaking water tank didn't fall through the floor. You know what? Now you can see that the tile it's sitting on is cracked because it's leaning this way. God dang it. I need hot water. This has to keep working. I'm going to have to... I don't get paid enough for this. I don't get paid at all. There, you can see a little bit better. There's a main water line for the house. Um, there is a hole through the uh, foundation. This is a newer section of the house. That's the older section through there. This is the main heating duct coming through. Um, so yeah, there's a concrete wall. The water tank is sitting right beside. So it's, you know, supported by concrete walls on two corners. And then those those beams, they're wet, but they're not soft all the way through. They're gonna need replaced. I you hear the dripping. No saw, no hammer. I, I mean, I guess the crowbar is equivalent to a pretty heavy hammer. I'm not swinging hard. Very worrisome. But anyways, this is what we've got. And Kim does fix things. Here goes my weekend. This is what real home improvement projects look like. You know, they start off like, oh, this won't be bad. We'll put some new flooring in. And then we're like, oh God, we need new house. I always like to get to the root of a problem. And uh, so I can see, I looked in this pan and said, the pan is dry. Why is it, where is it? coming from but there's a crack in the pan and the water is leaking out you know below eye level and into into the, the floor and through the floor tank date of 2007 thereabout so uh, they usually only guarantee tanks for when eight or ten years at max so it's beyond any foreseeable warranty it's an easy replacement electric tank like that i guess i'm not gonna have hot water until i get a tank glad it didn't burst but this is a mess too look a snail i was like kim finds wildlife just chilling that looks like a crack Yep, that's a cracked joist. You can see it. That's uh, that's real bad. It just keeps getting better, huh? All right, we're gonna have to get some measurements and some materials here because I can't have this just ripped up endlessly.